Hi everyone, my name is Dimitri, I'm Atlassian Apps Marketing Manager at Divinity. I'm on a mission to help you and your team make the best use of Jira Software and Jira Service Desk at work by creating useful guides and tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how you can unleash your creativity and thrill your customers by designing your own customer portal in Jira Service Desk. We've been an Atlassian solution partner since 2005, got the place name status in 2011 and last year we became one of the founding gold top vendors in the ecosystem. Improving customer and agent experience in Jira Service Desk has been one of our top priorities since the product's inception. We've enhanced the overall quality of customer service in over 3,000 companies around the globe with both expert services and a suite of dedicated apps on the Atlassian marketplace. If you are familiar with our Jira Service Desk tutorial series, you may already know that each screen of this ITSM tool needs a little customization to make it fully functional and friendly for your customers. We've managed to create solutions for all of them, including the agents view. And then we asked ourselves a question, what next? The next thing we could change in Jira Service Desk was the customer portal's look and feel. The front end of the tool is not very customizable. And there are more and more companies out there which put a strong accent on applying their brand style across all their web properties, including the support channel. So today, we'll talk a bit about why it's so important for them, what Jira Service Desk offers in terms of redesigning the portal view, and I'll show you how to design three different customer portals from scratch with our brand new app, Theme Extension for Jira Service Desk. Let's start with the importance of customer experience and brand design. Customer Contact Week 2017 report stated that reducing customer effort was the number one focus for organizations in 2018. The results are disappointing as the consecutive survey found only about 18% of customers being happy with their service experience. In the 2018 report, 87% claimed they would even accept a higher price for a great support quality, so this is clearly a promising investment. So how does branding affect customer support experience? When they enter the customer portal, they get influenced by a couple of psychological effects. The first one is the primacy effect, which causes people to value their first impression higher than the rest. The second effect is the halo effect, which causes people to value things that look pleasant higher than the ones that don't. The last one is the effect our brand has on the customer's perception. Basically, if our customers see a portal different from our general brand style, which they probably like since they are our customers, they can get surprised in a bad way and even give up on any support whatsoever, so we'll lose a customer without even trying to help them. Instead, if they encounter a problem and see a user-friendly customer portal fully consistent with our brand, they will be more likely to let us solve their issue and stay satisfied with our products and services. So what can Jira Service Desk offer on that matter? The first version introduced the customer portal to the Jira system which allowed to create custom request types, add icons and hints to them, and work on the requests inside Jira, which allowed developers to more actively participate in the support process. 2.0 version allowed to combine multiple service desk projects into a help center and display all requests filed by a customer on a single screen. In version 3.1, announcements arrived, which enabled proactive communication with the customers. Then we could upload our company's logo, rename our help center, and customize the colors of the header bar. On the customer portal, we could create request type groups for easier navigation and add a welcome message describing the portal's purpose. Finally, Jira Service Desk 4.1 allowed uploading a background image as a banner and making our service desk more distinctive. But still, it's not enough to satisfy all the customization needs and create a fully branded support portal for our customers. We can't customize the way request types look like highlight the search bar, nor change the whole screen's layout. Most part of the screen is empty white space, which is nice and clean, but not always looking good. Luckily, we have the Atlassian marketplace, where we can find solutions that their software doesn't provide out of the box. One of them is our brand new app, theme extension for Jira Service Desk. Our idea was to create a tool which offers lots of design possibilities and is as close to plug and play as possible at the same time. A theme in this app acts like a visual skin consisting of a layout and a color scheme. The first theme we've introduced is called Cards. It's based on six types of cards representing request types, to which we can apply a theme style. If we choose one of the preset styles, the customer portal will be instantly ready to use. Each card type contains a request type 
its description and background. We can change colors and background images, drag and drop cards to reposition and much more. So the customer portal can look like this. Or this. Or this. So we have three totally different examples. Now let's see how we can quickly and easily design them all in Jira Service Desk. So here we are in our Service Desk project settings. When we have our request types configured, we can scroll down the page and go to the configuration of theme extension for Jira Service Desk. On the first screen, we can choose between the default look and one of the themes our app provides. So far we have only the cards theme here, which we can preview and proceed to the edit mode. There we see the preset styles we have in the app. We can apply one of them, for example San Francisco, and use the portal right away, or play around and start from scratch. On the edit mode, each element has a pencil icon when you hover over it, so we can easily see what we can customize. Let's make an Atlassian styled customer portal by applying their brand colors. All we need to do is know what these colors are and put them onto the top and bottom background, search bar, request type groups and the cards themselves. We can distinguish the request type group we are actually looking at by either coloring it differently or simply underlining it with a dedicated checkbox. Even though we can edit each card separately, there is a magic button which lets us create a default card style for our project. For this kind of portal, we'll choose the Aurora card style, which has a nice looking top when colored. Then we can drag and drop cards on the grid to reposition them and change the heat of the top banner. Then we save the theme, give it a distinctive name or even a version and publish it on the customer's view. Ok, and what if you want to use images instead of colors? No problem, just ask your graphic designer to prepare a couple of assets for you, upload them and adjust the other elements by yourself. Here we are trying to imagine how would our own Divinity customer portal look like if it weren't on cloud. Our new brand style is all about the universe of possibilities that software can give us at work, so there's Houston as Divinity Help Center. When customizing the search bar, we can highlight it with text, background color and a border with custom thickness. We want our cards to have a gradient background, which is best suited for nebula card style. If we have too many cards on the grid or just feel they look too big, we can change their size with a simple slider so we can have 3, 4 or 5 cards in one row. Also, we can add custom cards, which is the only place in the app where we meet HTML. Ask a developer to build a couple of layouts and then just copy and paste. We can use an unlimited number of custom cards to direct our customers to external resources, promote social media channels, present the latest product news and release notes, invite them to an event we host and whatnot. It's up to our imagination how to use them. The last example for today will be about a travel agency who chose Jira Service Desk to handle requests from their customers. They did some really great work to design the portal with custom graphics for each request type. For this purpose, the event horizon card type is perfect as the images can shine through and there is still much room on the card for the useful texts. Another feature they liked is changing the request type groups view to a drop down menu. It's really cool for those who have large service desks with dozens of request types. And then they thought there could be something more for them to do. Animations! Yes, we can animate our customer portal graphics and upload GIF files to the app. This can make the portal more lively and dynamic, which often appeals to the customers. Now we see how theme extension for Jira Service Desk can help us design a unique customer portal fully compatible with our brand style and easy on the eye for our customers. We can choose one from six types of cars for request types, change the portal's colors or background images, reposition and resize the cards, put request type groups into a drop down menu, add custom cards with HTML, customize the search bar and even more. Some of you may recognize Refined for Jira Service Desk, which is another marketplace app for theme in your Atlassian software. Let's talk a little bit about the difference between the two. Refined is more about creating a structure and building pages from sections and modules. It can be only configured by the Jira admin and its look is mostly based on Jira Service Desk view. On the other hand, theme extension is more about design. It has preset layouts available immediately after installation, per project configuration and can push our creativity further than the default look of the customer portal. As I said, Cards is the first theme we've developed in our app, but we have more ideas to implement in future releases. The first thing to do is global configuration, 
where the cards will represent the actual customer portals on the help center. Then we'll be able to group customer portals, thus adding an additional level of structure for massive service desks with lots of projects. Next, we'll allow to import and export custom theme styles to share them across projects. We're also thinking about creating other themes than cars, which I'll show you in a moment. The last thing for this year is the app's version for Jira Data Center. This is a mock-up representing a theme we're discussing right now, which will behave like a big cascade in Select. We'll be able to choose a request type group and see a neat list of request types belonging to it. This is a solution made specifically for companies which have a lot of request types to display on the portal. Another idea is to have a customizable tile of request type groups and display the actual request types underneath it upon clicking. If you're interested in more features and apps to improve the customer's journey through Jira Service Desk as well as the agent experience, check out the dedicated tutorial series on Divinity YouTube channel. If you're craving for more ITSM tips, tricks and business cases, we're blogging about them at divinity.com and on that Latin community. You can also find us on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook. Follow Divinity apps by the links you see on the screen to track the latest news from our company and that Latin ecosystem. Bye guys, see you next time.